I gotta find my most like 90s clothes here. I really don't know if I have any. <laughs> I know I still have a bunch of 90s clothes, like my own clothes from the 90s, like, but I'm sure they're being held hostage at my mom's. We'll find something. We'll find something. It's Liam Mouse vlog, Liam Mouse vlog, it's Liam Mouse's vlog. Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back. I told you we'd be back, and you know what? Now, it's the 90s. That's right, I have magically transported us back to the 90s. The 1990s, for those of you who are a little bit thicker in the upstairs region. I have my hair in a hideous ponytail because this is how I spent most of the 90s. Well, okay, that's a lie. Um, my hair was awful in the 90s. I'll show you some pictures. Anyway, so the main purpose for today's video is to reveal to you the awesome new line of candles that I've created for you, uh, 90s nostalgia themed, but we're gonna have a little fun in the meantime, so don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm wearing a Hello Kitty shirt. Hello Kitty. Which I realize is kind of more 80s, but there is nothing in my closet that was 90s. This is the closest thing I had. And in the 90s, I had zero fashion sense whatsoever. Yeah, and I, I just looked awful all the time, so. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to give you a treat and do my makeup how I used to do my makeup in the 90s. So first I'm gonna do the makeup for you that I did in 1996. Okay, we're done. Yeah, I didn't wear makeup in 1996. I was all of 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> However, the following year I discovered things. But did we have the illustrious and convenient liquid eyeliner? No, we did not. What we had were these stick pencil liner things. And did we have the grand and glorious, illustrious, fancy makeup shadow palettes? No, no we did not. And honestly, if there were makeup palettes out there, I've never been into makeup, it's just never really been my thing, so I don't know. To my knowledge, we didn't do the whole foundation concealer bullshit either. My face was just naked and riddled with acne for like the entirety of forever. <laughs> but I did do a little bit of makeup, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for you. And I'm gonna do it legitimately how we did it back then. I was actually taught this by one of my friends and it worked awesome every time. So I'm gonna look awful here, but that's the price we have to pay for a 90s party, right? So, <laughs> I don't know if I can even pull this off anymore. All right, so what we did, we would take our, our, eye, our eye pencil thing, right? It was just awful and barely did anything. You know, oh my God, that actually works really well. Okay, well, I'm just gonna at least show you since this apparently works very well. We took a lighter and went whoop to heat it up and then glided it right on. That is what we did and it worked really well. <laughs> that was our liquid eyeliner in the 90s. So I'm gonna go ahead and recreate my makeup that I did in the 90s if I can, if I even remember. Oh, that smells bad. <laughs> Okay. Oh, but that's not all. That's not where some boy that looks bad. I did. I really used to do this to myself. Oh God. I also wore um, mascara. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Even the universe is like, no, what the hell are you doing, woman? Hmm. Isn't that nice? Oh my God, I got mascara all over my laptop. Awesome. Laptops weren't around in the 90s. What's this foolish nonsense? So I can't believe my friends let me walk around looking like this. And I'm not even kidding. I am really not even kidding. This is, I will show you my graduation picture if you don't believe me. Yeah. I graduated in 2002, class of 02. I was 17 years old when I graduated. I was a baby. It's because I have a summer birthday, smack dab in the middle of the summer, and they had to decide which class to put me in, so I was the baby of the class. All right, enough of that crap. Let's get into some candles. There's a bus. So if you've been paying attention at all, you know that I came up with 90s nostalgia candles. That's why we're here. Yes, I'm repeating myself, and I'm really sorry. It's the eyeliner. The eyeliner makes me do stupid things. My God, that looks bad. <laughs> Wait, we need some music, especially to drown out the buses that keep going by. What the hell? However, back in the day, we didn't have Spotify. We didn't have Pandora internet radio. We didn't have iHeartRadio. Shit, we barely had CDs. I mean, we did, but you know. You know what we used those CDs for? And also songs that we randomly heard on the radio that we wanted to record and keep, but didn't want to go out and buy the CD. We had mixtapes. 
That's right. We made mixtapes. Na 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 na. Y'all remember mixtapes? I know I do. And as it says on the label right here, the painstaking all night project of making sure each song fits perfectly. Because that is exactly what it was. I gotta throw on some music and we'll talk about this candle and the rest of them. Yeah. Okay, I can't have it too loud because I'll get demonetized, but we can have it snugly in the background here. So mixtape. It is a lovely little scent. We got some black, we got some white, we got some gray. And a white swirl, of course. Oh my god, there's so much glare. There we go. <sighs> I'm gonna pull up the actual description of the scent notes on my thing that hasn't been invented yet. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Okay, so top notes are caramelized sugar, cedar, tonka bean, and patchouli. Bottom notes, licorice, lavender, coriander, star anise, and ginger. So yeah, this thing smells really good. Obviously, I think it smells good. I made it. It's my brain baby. I was just kind of going for imagining and remembering sitting in your room just like hunched over the stereo with your stacks of CDs and cassette tapes and like your list of what songs you wanted and stuff. And just that kind of going back to that night and or weekend and that feel and just with these I tried to go a lot for memory invoking, you know, creating an atmosphere type of thing. I really like this one and I'm keeping it. Just this one. Y'all can order the rest of them because I make them specially for you when you order them anyway. That's how it goes. So by that same vein, we're gonna bring up Roller Rink Party. This one was actually Draco's idea. The name, the colors, the fragrances, okay? I put the fragrances together at the end of the day and I created the label, but this is Draco's brain baby. So we got green, we got pink, we got a teal on top here. And guess what? White swirl with lots of sparklies. <laughs> Cause I mean, we all went to those birthday parties at roller rinks, right? Oh, and it smelled like this. So, oh my God. Yes, I did it. I did it, I did it. I did, I'm, not, I'm just gonna. Yeah, just something about that tacky carpet, those bright colors, the flashing lights, the glittery disco ball thing, hence the glitter. Swallow them down, turn it inside out, find nothing but faith in nothing. Wanna put my tender heart in a blender, watch it spin around to a beautiful oblivion. So the official scent description for uh, Roller Rank Part A. Top notes, eucalyptus, tangy orange, and woody cashmere. Cashmere. Bottom notes, geranium, spicy, neroli, and vetiver. Some of those words might not mean a lot to you guys, but trust me, it smells good. And again, I was going for memory invoking here, and I think I nailed it because I'm gonna, I'm keeping this one too. I'm just keeping all these. All y'all just order these. OGs are gonna stay with me forever. Y'all order your own. That sounds really mean, but you know what I mean. Rendezvous, then I'm through with you. Okay, now I gotta find a special song for this next one. Hold on. Self-explanatory. This is based on the Spice Girls and their hit song, Wannabe. We got the Spice Girls in the background here on the label, peeking out. <laughs> so this candle is red on the bottom, white in the middle, pink on top. Gotta get with my friends. With a red swirl, with sparklies, of course, because girl power. Okay. Mmm, it smells so fruity and girly and good. Oh, I love it so much. Holy crap. I'm looking up the scent description right now. I'm not ignoring you. Excuse me. So, the scent description for Wannabe uh, is Top Notes, Bergamot, Citrus... Excuse me! Top Notes, Bergamot, Citrus, Rose, and Lily. Bottom Notes, Balsam. I'm bad at pronouncing things. Good at using them to smell good, but bad at pronouncing them. Balsam, Cedar, Rosewood, and Sandalwood. This is definitely led by the Top Notes entirely. This smells really girly and really fun and like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Mmm, cause that's the way it is. Look what I brought to the party. And these are authentic, thank you. These are from my collection from like 1995 or something. These are the OG Goosebumps books. These are not reprints. They're so yellow on the edges because they're so old. I got them 
from <laughs> the Little Professor's bookstore, which ceased to exist many, many years ago. Where's the dollar amount? Yeah, these cost $2.95. Look at that. Yeah, that's how much Goosebumps books cost back when I was buying them. And yeah, this is obviously the original one, Welcome to Dead House, the very first one, numero uno. And by the way, I have a candle based after this, which is gonna be in the 90s Nostalgia menu tab on my website too, so if you're interested. And I also do have the Monster Blood candle, as well as a haunted mask candle, so there you go. Cause yeah, I freaking loved Goosebumps books. What I used to actually do was I, I had the entire collection, I still do, it's downstairs, that's where these came from. I used to take a, a stack, a random stack of various Goosebumps books, maybe like 10 of them or something, and I would take them to school with me. I was in elementary school at the time, obviously, and I would stack them on the floor next to my desk just like in a little stack, and kids from the class would borrow them. You know, maybe Tim wanted to borrow this one, and then maybe Joey wanted to borrow this one, and then maybe Amber wanted to borrow this one or whatever. So everybody would borrow a Goosebumps book from me, they'd read it, and a couple days later I'd bring a whole new stack and they'd give me those back. I got every single one back. Like, you'd think you wouldn't be able to trust kids you know, to give, especially that many, to give stuff back. They did. Every single person gave every single one of my books back. And I just had like a little Goosebumps lending library <laughs> in the classroom. And the teacher never said anything. Apparently they didn't care. I guess they were just happy that we were reading. I don't know. <laughs> all right, we got a few more to get through here. So, all right, y'all remember those Bon Bell, Bonnie Bell, Bon Bell? Does anybody know how to pronounce that? Lip smackers, you know, and they came out with the special ones with like the little holes through the cap and with the little colorful rope string and then you could string them all on and wear them as a necklace. Yeah, I definitely had that. <laughs> so I made one called Lip Balm Necklace and it's a bunch of fun tropical colors. We got red, orange, and green with an orange swirl and boy is it fruity. <laughs> I'll just tell you straight up, I don't even have to look at the description for this one. This one is straight watermelon and strawberry. Oh my God. Oh. I just wanted to eat my watermelon one. I had, I had a watermelon one. I remember it was my favorite. I wanted to eat it. Oh my God, that's so nice. So yeah, nice fruit smelling one. Very reminiscent of the Lip Smacker days. Yeah. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee here because as an adult, this is what gets me going. But do you know what got me going as a young impressionable child in the 90s? Surge. Remember Surge? Well, unfortunately, I couldn't call a candle Surge because copyright. So uh, we just called it Hyper in a Can, which is essentially what Surge was. So it's green and black and blurry with a red swirl, of course. And I'm sorry, but it smells like Surge. It's bubbly, it's limey, it's hyper in a can is essentially what it is. This is the Surge candle. Like, obviously, again, couldn't call it Surge because of copyright, but I'm sorry, but it's Surge. I'm not gonna lie, it's Surge. And I had a Surge shrine. Did I ever tell you guys about this? Not even joking. I don't remember how many cans were in it. I wanna say close to 400. Uh, I drank so much Surge and I saved every single can because I am a little weirdo and I made like this giant pyramid thing out of the cans in my room. And I just called it my Surge shrine and it just sat there and I am so weird. Oh my God. These stories are making me realize how freaking weird it was. <laughs> explains so much, oh my god. I definitely had the Surge Shrine and anybody who knew me back then will vouch for that because they saw it firsthand. So moving on from Surge, which I fully blame for my adult coffee addiction, thank you. I was a hyper little shit. I don't know why my mom let me drink Surge. <laughs> So we're gonna rewind a little bit and take a trip back to the first day of school, if you recall. I don't know why I'm talking like this. So remember the first day of school, super exciting, get all your brand new school supplies and just the smell and the feel of like the new backpack and the new supplies, like the paper and the pens and, but most importantly, that Trapper Keeper. Personally, I had a bunch of Lisa Frank stuff. That was my inspiration for this, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> we got purple, blue, and green, of course, with a white swirl. I feel like school supplies had a smell. I was always very aware of smells my whole life. Go figure that I got into the candle business, right? <laughs> but I was really trying to bring that smell back to just really trigger those memory bubbles, you know? Yeah, this smells like the first day of school to me. 
Like, it absolutely smells like the first day of school. Mmm, so nice. Yeah, and the label even says that back to school excitement of brand new school supplies and fresh sheets of wide ruled paper because we weren't allowed to have college ruled because we had fat handwriting and didn't know what we were doing yet. So they made us use wide ruled, which drove me inside. I've always had very small handwriting and wide ruled made me nuts. <laughs> Couldn't stand it. So that's Trapper Keeper. If you really want to invoke those memories of the first day of school stuff. Plus it's pretty, isn't it pretty? I just love how colorful it is. It makes me very happy. It's just like the same feeling that those Lisa Frank binders and everything that they gave you, you know, just the, just, it's just, just like eye candy, you know, it's just like, mm, I want those ballerina bunnies. I did have the ballerina bunnies. Trapper Keeper. That is the one that I had. <laughs> I don't know if I still have it somewhere. Maybe I do, but I'm sure it's at my mom's. All right, so we're gonna go with the school theme a little bit here, and we are going to go to everybody's favorite day in gym class. You know what I'm talking about. Parachute day. And if for some reason your school did not have parachute day in gym class, my heart goes out to you because this was hands down the best day of school ever. Second only to maybe when they brought out those little yellow scooters and let us like sit sit on them, like scoot around, you scoot around on your butt. There was literally like a square that only your butt would fit on, but you could like scoot around. That was a lot of fun. But anyway, parachute day, you know? You get this giant parachute and you, you, you billow it out across the gym floor, right? And it's like on the count of three, everybody goes whoosh and it just goes whoosh, and it like balloons up and everybody hurries up and gets underneath it and pulls it down behind him and sits on him and you're just under this big mound of color and you're in this parachute and I have no idea why but it was the coolest thing ever <laughs> right so we've got red green and yellow and blue obviously to represent the colors of the parachute and I'm sorry, but memory evoking smell here. I'm not gonna claim 100% that this is what a parachute smells like, but this smell takes me back to parachute day. And that's all I was going for, and I've accomplished it. So let's all go back to parachute day together because boy, those were good days, huh? Ah, times were simpler back then. We didn't have smartphones bugging us all the time. You know, the internet was but a kernel of entertainment. And on that note, you know, we spent all of our time in the 90s in the chat rooms. That's right, I made a chat room candle. It's white, blue, and black with a blue swirl because chat rooms. For those of you privileged people who never had to deal with dial-up internet, congratulations, you dodged a bullet. And in fact, the flavor text on this label is get off the internet, I need to use the phone. <laughs> Y'all remember those days? You know, and it takes you like an hour and a half to even connect to the damn internet and then your mom starts yelling at you because back in the day, when you're on the internet, you use the phone lines. There wasn't like a dedicated DSL line or broadband or whatever. I don't even know. I'm such a dinosaur. I don't know how modern internet works. No clue. But dial up, you use the phone lines. So if you were on the internet, the phone would always ring busy if somebody tried to call you and nobody could use the phone if you were on the internet. <laughs> Those were the days, man. So chat room. <laughs> I met a lot of cool people through chat rooms, not gonna lie. Oh, dear God, I don't, again, this is not a specific smell to anything. It's just a memory evoking smell, okay? Mmm, it's so nice, but I'll read you the description, okay? God, my eyeliner looks so stupid. <laughs> okay, so top notes, patchouli, sandalwood, amber, and ylang, ylang, ylang. Ylang. And bottom notes, musk, violet, cedarwood, and vanilla. It's a stronger, muskier, uh, robust smell. I don't know why because, because that's what came to my mind when I thought of projecting my mind back into the days of just sitting in the chat rooms and like whatever -ing. Memory and scent are tied, okay? It's a thing, it's scientific, and that's what I was trying to do with these. Just make a scent that buzzes you back to those times, that was representative in some way. And yeah, I, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know, I, it's hard to put into words because scent is very difficult to describe, but trust me, these are good at representing what I set out to represent with them. And I really think you guys will be really, really happy with these. So we got a couple more, I got a couple more. So along the lines of memory evoking, you guys remember what it felt like 
and smelled like to go with your friends or your family to Blockbuster or Hollywood Video or Movie Gallery or whatever you had in your neighborhood and go rummaging through the stacks, finding like an armload of VHS tapes and hoping and hoping to just find one remaining copy of Scream. We watched that two times in a row to sleep over one time because we loved it so much the first time we literally rewound the tape and just watched it again. <laughs> fun times. So yes, we do have video store. Okay. See the stacks of VHS is back there. Yes. Rummage through the stacks and stock up on an armload for the sleepover. Man, I rented a video every single day after school when I was in junior high. This was 1997, 1998. I walked downtown from the school. I stopped taking the bus because I was getting bullied and my mom taught school in another district. So I would have to get out of school and wait for her somewhere so that she could you know come and pick me up okay so there was a little video store in our town and I would save up my lunch money I would I, this is probably why I don't eat too much these days <laughs> because for lunch I would literally just eat scrap from other people that they didn't want like somebody wouldn't want half their mashed potatoes somebody wouldn't want half their tater tots somebody wouldn't want their roll you know whatever and I would literally that's my lunch so I would save my lunch money so I could spend it on renting a video every day right so I walk past this video store they knew me there the rental were I think like 75 cents or something like that some ridiculous thing so I would stock up on like two or three movies and I'd usually watch at least one or two of them you know that night and then the next day I would bring back the ones that I'd watched either from the previous day's rental or the ones that I just watched and then I would rent some more I I did this throughout my entire junior high career right and it was so much fun so I have very fond memories of video stores and there was a smell there was a smell. So this candle happens to be Blockbuster colors because, I mean, Blockbuster was iconic, right? So blue, yellow, and white, and a yellow swirl, okay? Now, <laughs> this is a video store. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and say that all y'all's video stores smelled exactly the same, but they had a smell. This is a memory-evoking smell here. I tried to capture that feel, just the feel of being in a video store. And of course, there's a little bit of a popcorn smell in here too, because you can't have the videos without the popcorn, right? So there's a little bit of a popcorn smell in here, just to specify one thing. The rest of it is just kind of an overarching amalgamation of fragrances that I threw in here to encapsulate the atmosphere and the memory and the feel of the video store itself. And I did it. Space Jam! Why didn't I make a Space Jam candle? I'm a moron. Well, copyright. Anyway, again, if this line does well, I will add to it because I had just so many ideas for this. So many ideas. There's so many things to choose from from the 90s and I had to narrow it down to 12. Normally I'd only do 10, but I was like, ah. So yeah, we have 12 because that's all I could limit myself to. But if these do well, I'm sorry, I can't stop smelling this. And now the dog is in the background. Hi, Scrappy. Wow, look at my five head. I had a big forehead back then too. It probably doesn't help that you can't even see the top of my head. Ew, that doesn't help either. Okay, we're just gonna. Hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. You hit him low, hit him low, hit him low. If I hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. If you hit him low, hit him low, hit him low. I'm a monster. So yeah, that's Video Store and I, I, this is my favorite. Hands down, this is my favorite one. I love it. So you know how like every girl everywhere in the 90s had that Body Fantasies body spray? That freaking cucumber melon. <laughs> I mean, it smells good, but like literally every, every freaking girl had that Body Fantasies cucumber melon spray. You remember it now? Yeah, yeah, we made body spray. White, green, and white. Green swirl, straight up cucumber. <laughs> I am personally not a fan of cucumber melon, which is why I just about gagged on my tongue, uh, but it smells like cucumber melon, 100%. It doesn't smell bad, again, it's just not my thing. I am not a fan of that particular scent, so I did not have that. I wore Curve like a reasonable human being, okay? But yeah, if you like cucumber melon, I'm gonna cap this now before I die. If you like cucumber melon, go for this because it's it's very potent it's definitely cucumber melon all day all the way i don't like lavender either lavender makes me gag i have weird stuff going on in here there's a few scents that everybody loves where i'm just like <coughs> no and then i like really weird smells like my favorite scents are like dirt <laughs> and like the inside of a semi-truck cab smell <laughs> 
and like oil. <laughs> Probably has something to do with the fact that my dad was an excavator and was really like into earthy like equipment truck things and that's what I grew up smelling a lot so I associated with like happy times and stuff that's probably why but we won't waste time psychoanalyzing me right now <laughs> okay so this next candle was inspired by like our totally collective favorite movie Woo it's called as if that's why the if is all capitals because it's, it's emphasized you know as if whatever <laughs> so yeah this one has really long flavor text on it just because that's uh Cher's soliloquy from clueless about like being a traitor to her generation about how guys dress and all that so fun little movie quote on there for you it's pink white and yellow with a white swirl with sparkles because Cher is sparkly and we love her. oh this one's so nice this one's very soft it's it's like strong but soft. It's a soft scent, but it projects strongly, if that makes sense. It's really, really nice. I am gonna read you the description of this. It's kind of like Wannabe, where it's just, it's very girly and feminine, but it has a little bit of an undertone of an attitude, you know, whereas Wannabe was just, Wannabe is more of like a girl punch to the face, right? And this one is more of a girly, like, mm, I'm just a little bit too good for you, and no, you're not on my level. You know, it, you know what I mean? They're, they're two very different scents, but they're both feminine and soft and like, like that. It's, they're very nice. Oh baby, baby. I'm the worst Britney singer ever. Oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? My natural inclination is to sing like myself. And now you're right outside, yeah. Show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now. And I will tell you the fragrance notes on this one now that I'm done being an idiot. Okay, so top notes, pink berries, bergamot, and pickack, pickack, pickack. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It was in the scent slew of thing that I ordered and it's just in there. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, and the bottom notes are musk, sugar cane, and tonka beans. So this is a sweet, girly candle and we do like it. Mmm, that's really nice. I'm not, mmm, yeah, that's really nice. I really, that one makes me smile. <laughs> and before we get to the last one, I'm just gonna have to um, draw your attention to this real quick. You know what this is? You remember that? Fruit by the foot. I'm not gonna eat it right now because I have coffee in the room and I feel like coffee and a three foot fruit snack will not mix. Speaking of a three foot fruit snack, that's what the candle's called. One more time. <laughs> three foot fruit snack is tropical colors, kind of like the lip balm necklace one, but it's, it's different. Green, yellowy thing, uh, orange, and a red swirl. Oh my God, this smells just like fruit by the foot. I am not even messing with you. Holy crap. Unroll that fruity goodness, peel it from the paper, and enjoy each sugary inch. That's the text on the candle label. Man, seriously, this smells just like fruit by the foot. Like a big, heaving, sugary, beautiful, give me the entire box in one sitting fruit snack. It's so nice. Oh my god. Just, just, just a big, punch to the face of tropical fruit and sugar just like right there just <laughs> please don't eat it okay they still make and sell fruit by the foot i have the proof right here so go get some fruit by the foot and smell this don't eat it this is for eating this is for smelling this is for eating this is for smelling okay are we good we got it okay hit me baby one more time Okay, guys, well, that wraps up the brand new line of candles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a discount code right now to save yourself some money. And guess what? It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much you're going to save until you put that discount code in. So I'm not going to tell you. Because <laughs> I'm a shit. But the discount code is 90s party. 90SPARTY. P-A-R-T. Why? Because I... Gotta! There's another little nod to the 90s there. <laughs> so yeah, go to underworldconnection.com right now 
and or etsy.com slash shop slash underworld connection. Check out the new 90s candles, order yourself some good ones. They will be available in the 16 ounce sizes, the four ounce tins, and the wax mounts as well. So make sure you pick your poison, choose whatever size you want, pick the candles that you love the best, plug in that discount code 90s party for the mystery discount price. And don't forget on my website, it is always, always free shipping on domestic orders of $50 or more. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun. Get 90s inspired. I know I'm going to get yourself a can of Surge, get some fruit by the foot, go get some Dunkaroos because they're selling those again, which is freaking awesome. I would have had them for this video, but I definitely ate them. <laughs> Throw on some 90s musics. Put your smartphone in a drawer, just forget about it, and just throw on some Mario Kart, Super NES, gotta be authentic, and just have fun. Let's go back to the 90s, guys. I want to so bad. And this is my contribution to you. These candles are gonna help you go back to the 90s, okay? So we're gonna do that together. Now, I'm gonna go watch this again for the fifth time this week. And I look forward to making these candles for you guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!